Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Flash SPC that I think is out for 12 hours. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what EA were saying. Uh, yeah, Flash Squad Building Challenge available in Foot 21 now for 12 hours only. So this is a silver card, guys. So this isn't going to be a big thing for people in regards to uh, putting him in your gold teams or your weekend league squads, even though you could totally use them in those weekend league squads. Um, it's definitely more for the silver lounge if you want to have fun in that regard. I have to turn off that controller because I'm on the Xbox right now. But we're going to be checking out this West Morgan card, man. So obviously I had to put him next to the Liverpool players, of course, because it's the most important thing in regards to using this card in this team, to be honest, right? You got to put him next to the real champions, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Six foot one with medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills with a two star weak foot. Uh, I probably have to do this. Two star weak foot? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead. Um, in regards to his in games, he's got 71 acceleration with 75 sprint speed. So we're giving him the shadow chemistry style for the plus 10 in acceleration, plus 10 in sprint speed. But. It's nice to have a nice little minimum of 87, 87, because even though you're playing the silver lounge, if you want to, if you want to take it more seriously, right, it's better to have more pace. But is the pace perfectly fine if you just want to have fun in the game mode? It is perfectly fine, to be fair, right? You could probably just use like a really conservative defensive play. You don't necessarily have to be super high depth or anything like that, because if he has to chase after anybody, it may not be great with this card. I'm pretty sure he has a big body type in game too, so I think that's going to be a huge thing for this card. But I'm probably gonna do this card on my my account too, just to have fun with him in the silver lounge, right? Just it's cool to have like a player moments just chilling in there, you know. Uh, he has no shooting presence. Passing on the card, he's got 95 short passing with 81 long passing, but no curve. But you know, he can pass the ball as a center back, which is great. He does have 93 composure, which is cool as well. But his agility is at 65, and his ball control is at 70. But to be honest, his dribbling stats for a center back is perfectly fine. It's not really something that you have to. Um, worry about too much to be honest because a lot of people have very similar dribbling stats but then they just move with this crazy agility in the game and um yeah we'll see what's up with that uh defensive stats for base card stats are obviously very very good because when you give him the shadow chemistry style the plus 10s 15s and 5s will make a significant difference on the card and he has good base card stats uh, for the important areas as well, which is awesome. He does have 87 aggression with 80 or 87 strength with 80 aggression and 75 for stamina. So, I mean, the dude looks fun, guys. Like, you know, you guys know how I play FIFA. I like to just use cards for fun. With a center back that's slow in this game, not as fun because through ball meta is freaking crazy. But you know what? Maybe his body type and stuff will surprise me because Van Dyke's kind of slow too, but Van Dyke's really good defensively. So, could be a very similar situation to. Wes Morgan's card, but we are going to play some super aggressive tactics here. We'll put like depth high with a little bit, put players in the box set to high too. By the way, it's fast buildup. When you have the players in the box set pretty high um, and you are set on fast buildup, it actually kind of takes away the defensive pressure away from you. The only problem is that if you lose the ball, you're screwed because the pace, get behind the defense, score the opportunity, very easy. But it does push your team quite high so that if people are using team press, yeah, they're team pressing against your team, but they're team pressing in their own half. You know what I'm saying? It takes a while for it to trigger in game, but... Um, you see it eventually, but for the sake of the review, we'll have it on fast buildup, and uh, we'll have those tactics uh, press after possession loss for. Eh, we'll do press uh, press after possession loss. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do it like that. Let's get into a game and see how uh, Wes Morgan plays. Joe Gomez Veron. Oh, I was close. I was so close, boys. I was feeling it. Van Dyke and Veron, though. <laughs> I was so close. That attacking team that he has would actually be a really good test for this. So he got Pavel Nevet as a a base icon. I mean, not worth the value, but pretty fun to pack regardless, right? It's okay now because of the SBCs that they currently have, you know. But before, when they didn't have the SBCs, the 500k value was was ridiculous, you know. But you know how how it be with this company. Do it for me, Kenny. Oh, I tried to do a first time chip from the run. I was like, come on, man. You're better than that, baby girl. Run, Wes. Oh, my God. You could do it, bro. Oh, put the pressure. 
Yo, get destroyed, bro. I mean, you can clearly see that he's not the fastest player, but yo, the pressure that he put on Rashford. Rashford couldn't handle the heat right there, boys. Look at this guy's body type, man. Oh, this guy is huge, bro. There you go, getting some overcommitment here. Okay, okay, okay. Wes Morgan, let's see what's up. What's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. Morgan doesn't mess around, bro. Just nice little, nice little control right there. Oh, look at that, Robertson. Oh, you're top class, mate. Absolute top class. Wes Morgan coming in clutch so far, guys. Two beautiful tackles, man. It's, I mean, it's the stuff of champions, you know. Oh my God, it's Genie with the overpowered rainbow flick of dreams. Ooh, <laughs> Barad still saves him. Sorry, I wanted to go for that fake shot because I had a feeling he was going to overcommit into that tackle right there. So I was like, my dude, I got to do it to him. Oh, look at Wes just tracking back. What an absolute, oh goodness, that is offside. Look at that. You know, I didn't even mean for it to happen, but he just understood when to do that offside trap just naturally, you know, just naturally. I think the threat has been averted. Yo, his transitioning is actually, like, not that bad. He's not emphasized at all. That's surprising. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You can't get past Wes Morgan, man. I don't even know why these guys are trying right now, dude. You can't get past the absolute godliness of Wes Morgan, okay? This is my version of Akinfenil over here, baby. Oh, here we go, Wes. Here we go, Wes. Put the pressure on. See, it's because it's because Wes Morgan was applying that pressure that Werner just he just couldn't chip the ball, man. He's like, nah, dude, Wes Morgan's on me. Like, I'm gonna hit the bar right now. That's just how that works. Uh, in all honesty, though, guys, the card is actually pretty decent. He's not terrible. I wish they actually gave Thiago Silva this type of pace. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That wasn't Wes Morgan. That was his. Uh, that was like his his twin brother. You know? was... It's okay though. Middle shot, right? It's all good, guys. It's it, Wes Morgan was saying like, "Hey, middle, one hundred percent." The guy felt bad that he actually got the penalty, so he was like, "Yo, man, I'm gonna shoot it through the middle, and if the guy gets it, then the guy gets it." Come on, Wes. Come on, Wes. Track the player. There you go. Don't let him through, bro. Don't let him through. Don't let him through, Wes. Wes. Don't let him through, Wes. That's it. Look at that for a tackle. You think Van Dyke's going to do that for you? He's not. Only Wes can. Team of the year, baby. Mane. No luck for Sadio Mane. Show him what's up, Wes. Oh, look at that ball roll. Look at that. What? L trigger shield, buddy. What? 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 You got nothing. You got nothing. You can't. You can't touch this body type, my dude. I'm. It, this is Akin Fenwa at center back, buddy. You can't touch it. Very quick thinking there. No Wes Morgan, guys. I'm telling you, he's in their head, bro. He gave the penalty away because he knew where the guy was going to take the penalty. Like he was behind the 18 yard box, little semicircle area, and he was just like. Middle. That's it. That's it. GG's. Nothing, bro. Wes Morgan doesn't allow these, bro. He doesn't allow these. By the way, when you defend in this game, you, you shouldn't really use your center backs that much. Because you kind of just open up the pitch a lot, actually. Um, you should use them like to aggressively push up a little bit just so that the person doesn't get like an easy through ball or something, you know? Look at that. Easy through ball. Shot across goal. With my boy Mane. I'm telling you, man. If Listen, guys. like I'm being completely honest with you. If that was Wes Morgan right there, with his physical prowess, bro, he would never have allowed that. I'm just saying. He would never have allowed it. My boy Joe Gomez, he doesn't scratch the surface of Wes Morgan, bro. 
Look at that. Look at that absolute godliness of tracking. Look at this. Offside, mate. Yeah, Wes Morgan saw you, buddy. He saw you going for it. All right, guys. We're using Liverpool right now, so you guys know I have to go in right now. I have to go in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he didn't do the skill. He's like, nah, B. Have you guys ever seen this guy go on side one time? Never, bro. With Wes Morgan as the captain, like this guy's the captain of the ship, buddy. Whatever he says goes. All right, boys. You guys know. You guys know the deal. Even though it's the four four two, I'm not crazy about this formation. A lot of people actually like it. Let's see if we can get a goal here. Yeah, the problem. The problem is, bro, is that like you just. Guys, someone has to tell these guys, bro. Like, they don't know who Wes Morgan is, bro. They don't know. They don't know that physical prowess, my dude. It's tough, man. It's tough to explain sometimes, you know? It's okay, bro. Wes Morgan was tracking that the entire time. Don't even worry about it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Salah with the opportunity. Scores the goal. Beautiful 4-4-2 stuff. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, he's actually like not bad at applying pressure because of how huge he is. <laughs> Alright guys, so final verdict on the Wes Morgan card. So the only thing that you're going to notice that's a little bit off with the card is obviously going to be the pace, like in all seriousness, right? Because the 81 acceleration, 85 sprint speed from time to time will be a very noticeable thing. However, if he does actually catch up to someone... People are literally scared of his physical presence. He puts so much pressure on the opponents when they have the ball that sometimes they just screw up in general, right? Which is fantastic. It's always good to have center backs like this. The pace is literally the only problem with this card. However, pace is not that big of an issue if you play like very generic defense. Like if you play like four width and four depth or four or five width and four depth drop back or uh, five width with six depth drop back and a four, three, one, two where the formation is very narrow, it's not necessarily a bad thing. He actually feels like an incredibly usable center back. Obviously, I wish his pace was a little bit more to make him really fun to use, but it was a pretty cool card, man. I thought his transitioning left and right was going to be an issue, and it honestly wasn't. He de he definitely moves across the pitch really, really nicely. It's just the pace that's a little bit off. But for the silver card concept, if you're making like a Premier League team and they ever do anything in the future for different silver cards and you just want to have fun with him, it's 18K. You know, they have... It's 18K because they have the SBCs right now. The SBCs, you get a lot of 82s and stuff that you can just put towards an SBC like this. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I, hope, I just had some fun with this review. It's a center back, so it's very obvious what's good and what's bad with the center back most of the time before you even use it. But with this card, he definitely surprised me. It was actually pretty decent. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.